I'm gonna kill him. Get out of here. Hello and welcome to the channel. Today I'm gonna be playing the demo of an upcoming title called Horticula. Um, everything I see about this on Twitter keeps pointing back to a game that I passionately love and enjoy called Viva Pinata. And you know what? It's got gnomes. Why don't you want to like gnomes? Check the description. There's going to be a link to where you can find this game and wishlist it if you're interested in it. Let's hop on in. The demo. Welcome. Thank you for playing a particular demo. This contains a sample of the story and its content. You can play for as long as you like. You'll be notified when the demo story ends. What particular is active development? There are some missing features, so you should encounter a bug. Have feedback. I'd love to hear about it in the Discord. I look forward to putting the full version in your hands soon. Thank you, Robert. You're the best. All right. Let's go ahead and just jump in. Oh. Ah, balanced. Like Viva Pinata. You gotta you gotta make sure you don't let the 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 uh the tiki man put his evil seeds everywhere. I love Viva Pinata. Game is amazing. I wish we could get a new one, but or like, you know, actual ports, but eh. You know, outside of Xbox. A connection. We finally found someone. Someone particular. Hello, can you hear us? I hope so. Do not fear. You are currently in safe transit between worlds. Awesome. I hate mine. Except the honey bunny got to bring her with me, though. We have something to ask of you. But first, we need to know your name. You all know my name. Like, it's a, 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 like and subscribe. Wow, amazing. It's like, Waddles? Odd, but we can work with that. Pleased to meet you, Waddles. We are the Keepers, an ancient but <laughs> near-forgotten species. Our purpose is to tend gardens with an arcane touch, helping life flourish. However, our garden steward, Nightshade, mysteriously vanished some time ago. Soon after, our world decayed into ruin. We will tell you some more in time, but now we will have an urgent plea. Please, Waddles, will you become our new steward and restore our world? Yeah! Thank you so much, Waddles. We are truly grateful. Before we begin, what will you call your garden? We're going to call the garden. We're calling it Hum Hum Tum Tum. Hum Hum Tum Tum. We like it. It's getting time. You will arrive in Hum Hum Tum Tum any moment. Hang on. We'll get in touch once you've arrived. Here we go to Hum Hum Tum Tum. Here we go to have some fun fun. Wow, this is all mine now. Amazing. Look at that. It's crazy. Indirect in games presents. Horticular. Am I pronouncing that right? <laughs> anyway, this demo video is not going to be very long. I just want to get a taste of what to expect. Hello there. These tutorials are how to explain how we can magical in particular. You can turn them off in the settings and revisit them. That's pretty cool. Clicking it. That's pretty cool. What do you got? Greetings, Waddles. We are excited to finally have you arrive. It seems you found the inbox. Excellent. Letters are the energy efficient way for us to communicate. So keep your eye open for them. With time, you'll reclaim all of Hum Hum Tom Tom. Fill it with life. It will eventually become legendary Herticulist. But first, we should teach you some things. Let's start preparing Hum Hum Tom Tom for life. For this, we have attached a spade and supply of grass. Convert some waste into grass. Kind regards, your friendly keepers. The spade changes the fact that you buy yourself. Wow, wow, wow. Let's do it. Number three patches of waste using your spade. I mean, okay. Look at them. Whoa, a council member. I'm going to need them. Interesting. All right. That's the first one done. Wonderful start. Your surface choice determines on what items go on top. Let's practice this by placing your attached yarrow on your new glass. Oh, and since you have to conjure each item for you, we need some gold for each. We'll get into the details of that in a bit. But for now, we've attached some for you. Please uh, place a few yarrow and hum hum tum tum. Thank you. Place here to place your conjures and items and patches with a support surface. Choose an item by clicking the icon and pressing the catalog button. Interact conjured. Bada bada bada. Items on the surface as naturally properties to determine item placement and the habit hash placement property of an item surface required property and forbidden property. All right, this panel shows your performance at a glance. Twenty-five dollars is what I got. Cool. All right, I need to. Oh, oh. 
So we go, what? Hold on. This is one of your collected surfaces. This is how long it takes for it to finish. All right. And then what's this? Let's see. Um, this is one of your collected items. It's how long it takes to conjure and how much daily gold it costs. Use filters to quickly find an item. Plants. Oh, nice. Okay. So we need to go. I want it right here. Right here. And behind because it's lonely back there. All right, cool. Good location models. If you change your mind, you can move items somewhere else by picking them up. We can also reclaim the item you hold, returning some of its original cost. Try moving one of your items to a new spot. Interact with what you might use interact button with environment. Try it on your mailbox or a creature. Keep it held. Pick it up in the animal and stuff. Let's see. Holding an item with a creature. Open the action wheel. The action button. Select an action and release it. Got it. Hold on. I need to go spade and then I need to. I need to grab you. Oh, hello there. You're gonna you're gonna you live here now. And we're gonna pick you up and you live you live here now. Watch this. Sick. Amazing. I'm so good at this game. You make this look effortless, Waddles. Natural items contain magical essences that we can harness. Since you are not magically attuned, we devise an inter inter intermediary arrow gold coins. At dawn, we will use the combined essence of the hum hum tum tum to conjure fresh gold for you to work with in reclaiming the wasteland. But it's getting late. Only our hands are uh, crampy from writing letters. So let's continue at dawn. 99 PS. Night gets about dark. So you have nothing to worry about. Uh, sun and breeze, breeze. Your clock shows the time of the day. Hover it with your mouse for daily details. In the evening, the fast forward button becomes available, letting you skip the night. Okay. Um, Receive your first payout at dawn. All right, bye. Doom, ticka, doom, ticka, doom. Oh. Dawn brings new weather and a payout of freshly conjured gold. The payout depends on your garden's items, love, bonus, and upkeep. Your progress is also saved, letting you continue your journey at a later time. You, you, you stay here. Good morning, Waddles. We hope the night treated you well. While there is more to learn, you should be able to handle a day by yourself. You see, we have a little task of our own. As this world withered away, our friends moved out. Good friends. Helpful friends. We would like to send them a message of hope, letting them know that we found a new horticular steward. So try that and you've learned and we will return tomorrow to teach you about animals. Nice. This journal contains some rewarding challenges. You should try and have gold. Oh no, it's giving me challenges. Oh my God. Do some unsupervised gardening until tomorrow. Oh wow. Let's do it. All right. So I'm going to go. What do we got in here? We got, eh, we got this flower bed, grass, dirt. All right. We're going to go. Look at that, we're expanding. Then we're gonna go. Bam. Bam. Then we're gonna go. Bam. 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 Then we're gonna go. Stone. Gnomes love stones, right? And then we're gonna go all, no, I don't want that. I want this grass. Oh no! <laughs> oh well. Can we move over here? No. Nope. Oh well, that's fine. See, now I have to balance it out or it's gonna bother me. Nice. Why does the flower bed look so gross? Oh, because I can plant flowers on it specifically. Oh, hello. Right, we forgot. Sorry, Waddles. When you poke around and hum hum tum tum, you, you may find a lost treasure from our nightshade days. Keep the gold, but if you show us any artifacts, we'd love to see what we can do with them. Happy treasure hunting. Oh, I wonder if it's going to be like the uh, artifacts you can do in uh, Fever Pinata. Uncover treasure by digging patches of the wasteland. You'll most likely find gold, but sometimes lost artifacts are discovered for your use. Nice. What else you got? Hi there, Waddles. You have completed the following challenge. Reclaim a held item with an action wheel. Well done. Yeah, more money for me to do the thing where I'm like, hold on, I don't want that. I want, I want grass. Thank you. I'm going to make so much grass. They're going to come back and go, you know, you can do other stuff. And I'm like, yeah, what about it, my man? Yeah, I see I got gold from that. 
How big is I know this is supposed to get like big later. But I'm gonna make it green because it looks boring. Yeah, get it. I'm sorry, I missed one. There we go. Alright, that, that. Grass again. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, I can just hold it. I didn't have to keep clicking. Nice. How much money do I have? I have a lot of money. No, get out of here. I'm not done. Yes, it's green. <laughs> All right, what do you want? Hi there, Waddles. You have completed the following challenge. Gather 100 coins from archaeology. Well done. Nice. What else you got? Whoop! Most excellent waddles. You've converted all the wastelands in, in hum hum tum tum. Continue the great work and make sure to keep over converting when you get a chance. As a token of our appreciation, we have attached a small sum of gold. Have a great day, the keepers. Thank you, little man. <laughs> this is charming. Really, very charming so far. Let's see. Well, let's fast forward. All right, it's still going. It takes forever for it to go through. All right, task complete. Well done. Not a single catastrophe while we were gone. We have sent our message of hope far and wide. While those things are about to take off, you can expect our old friends to reach out with some assistance in your gardening journey. But we shouldn't delay. It's animal time. Animal square uh, require habitats to live in. Each square has its own requirements. Try crafting a bumblebee habitat. We've attached the details in your journal. In short, they need some shading and lots of flowers. P.S. We found some stuff for you under our secondary cookie jar. Oh, cookie jars. Bumblebee habitats. Each species has a habitat size and a habitat requirement. A habitat uh, forms once a patch has enough required properties nearby and no forbidden. These come with surfaces, items, and lived in habitats. Okay. Overlays provide deeper information on your garden state and layout. Use them to quickly see what's needed tending and help you plan. Okay. I got things. Here we go. Um. So we got tulips. Yarrow. That's pretty cool. All right, task complete. Welcome, council members. Oh, hold on. Excellent. You got a lovely little habitat going. With an available habitat, curious animals will start showing up once the weather permits. It can take some time, so be patient. When a curious animal pays you a visit, just place it in its new home and have it settle. <laughs> just go get in there, boy. Settle a curious animal in your new habitat. Yes, we have additional tasks for you. Collect enough gold, and we will demonstrate something you will absolutely love. They're going to twerk. Curious animals will visit when you have empty. I can get frogs. Oh, the only one who can show their active hours never during dislike weather. So you may have to wait a bit. Awesome. Is this my new home? Bumblebee. Of course it is. Pick up the curious creature and place it in an empty habitat to settle it. There's also works with existing residents. Let you know they're changing their home. Cool. Okay. Now that you have some gold, we can finally show you <laughs> this golden tidbit. <laughs> we're, sure, we're just already doing it. We're sure you're iring surrounding in a way, wishing you, you can dig all the unused space. Well, hold on to your hat. We can expand your garden just uh, for some of your gold. We've converted that difference for your first one. Try expanding it to a nearby plot. P.S. It takes a lot of energy to keep plots fertile, which means you, some daily upkeep um, won't go too wild. Zoom in and out of view. Over to Mao interact. Expand and jaw wow shu wow. Wow wow wow. Okay. So we go. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Ah, uh, I like here. Perfect. Task complete. Man, you guys write a lot of letters. Ooh, would you look at that, Waddles? You have expanded into the rocky path. Your spade may not be capable of digging into bedrocks just yet, so you have to accept its rockiness for now. Just be creative. However, if you manage to unearth some, give us a sample, and we'll provide a surface type, so you can add rockiness wherever you want. Cool. You guys are still working on that? God. Excellent. So much new space. Just waiting to get uh, prettified. Before long, you'll have a huge sprawling garden. We'll be in our workshop for a while working on a special project for your toolbox. Maybe you could expand hum hum tum tum once more in the meantime. Closest plot should be relatively cheap. We attached some gold for your new land. You won't believe where we found it. Under the cookie jar? I hope it's under the cookie jar. Oh, I can't. You didn't give me enough gold. A curious bumblebee. <gasps> little friend. Hello. Um, Hello, little friend. Little friend, come here. No, I don't want that. Give me that. Oh, come here. This is your new home. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> I got a bumblebee. I love this game. The new bumblebee is so adorable, Waddles, and it will let you perform upgrades too. 
Our friends should get in touch about that soon. Animals become happier if you fill their habitat with things they like, but wreak a ha um, habitat. Wait, wreck a habitat and they may eventually leave. Oh, and make sure you have some shelter and food nearby. You can find culinary preferences in the journal. Good luck finding new affordable creatures. P.S. Maybe you want to name the bumblebee by interacting with it. That'd be quite an achievement. Improve habitats by making the required properties. Um, high quality habitats make inhabitants happier. Cool. So basic stuff. Crow, frog, goldfish. Master a species by collecting enough inhabitants. When mastered, you'll know their exact number for each requirement. Awesome. Excuse me. We're going to rename you. We're going to name you Bum Butt. Anyway. Now that Bum Butt is here. And we love Bum Butt. I should probably uh, put you down. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hi there, Waddles. You've completed the following challenge. Rename and held a creature with the action wheel. Well done. Yeah, money. Can I buy this yet? Dang it. <laughs> I gotta wait. All right, let's see. Hold on. And click that. Um, oh, what do you got? What's this? That's crazy. What are you trying to air? All. So I can do fence. I can do grass. Moonshine. We're getting drunk structures okay cool oh up here the journal your journal tracks various information regression quest known creature archived mail lore and statistics huh i have a little desk i wonder if i can customize that later all right let's see workshop await your workshopping friends gather your guardian once more wow cool oh you just click it to track it it's a lot okay Let's see. Unlocked an animal. Press the toggle requirement tracking. Uh, creature habitation details. Sun. Don't like rain. Likes to eat flower. Five by five spice. Um, cool. Council members are here to be my friend 24 seven. They don't get a choice. It's kind of, it, it's, it's in there. Frog. You need water. You need water also. Why would a goldfish need water? That's stupid. Bumblebee. There we go. Um, and then lore. Blah, 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 blah. Wow. That's cool. Okay, that's fun. I like that. I need more animals. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to... Hold on. We're going to click uh, plants. We're going to go... Put some tulip. Wait, can't be placed here. Oh, I need the flower bed. Hold on. Boom. Flower bed. We're just going to... Do that. Then we're going to... Oh, yeah. It's not built yet. Crap. <laughs> Fast forward. <laughs> There we go. Rainy wind. I didn't right, I asked for this. Bonus. So this is Hum Hum Tum Tum, which would make you waddles. Curious. I don't sense much magic around. Surely you have attained some upgrades by now. Forgive me. My name is Faunus, and my specialty is consent, uh, con condensing creature magic into novel upgrades. The keepers might have mentioned me? Question mark. You may have been taught the basics, but a true horror, uh, horror prodigy will upgrade their garden, so I suppose I'll help you with upgrades from now on. The more animals settled in Hum Hum Tum Tum, the more upgrades I can make for a small sum of gold. Come buy an upgrade for me if you have time. Awesome. Upgrades permanently increase the gardening efficiency. They require enough available animal energy increased by having more settled animals once made. Upgrades will locate energy, decreasing the available amount. Okay. I hear you, and I understand you. So it is raining. The bees are not going to be happy about that. And Aura, good day to you, Waddles. My name is Aura, and Hum Hum Tum Tum has recently come to my attention. The keepers and I go way back, and they've insisted me that you will rejuvenate this land. I had to peek and saw that you already have gotten started. Nothing spectacular, but we we'll still have time, I guess. Aquatics happen to be my specialty. No garden should be without a pond, so maybe you can add one. If you do, I could provide with you some items for our bubbly friends. I have attached the pond water in case you don't have the access to it yet. Thank you. Awesome, I can now do pond water. Get myself some goldfish, you know. Okay, hold on. So we're going to do this pond water we're just gonna go sweet pond water incoming all right hi there waddles you have completed the following challenges 100 tiles of ordinary grass well done awesome and i got a thicket i got more gold we're gonna expand just so you guys get off my back so much life, space, and magic. Your efforts haven't gone unnoticed, Waddles. Thanks to you, we have more magic to harness than we have for a long time. This used to be a glorious and sprawling world, plants thriving and animals frolicking. 
The source of the splendor was Nightshade, our guide. But problems started when Nightshade mysteriously vanished. Plants decaying, our homes crumbling, and all the animals leaving, never to be seen again. Unnaturally fast, our world turned into a barren wasteland. Since we are natural maintainers, we can't create anything new. So we used our final strength to reach out for help and found you. With our newfound energy, we have re-established ourselves as the council. Your council, Waddles. And we will help you with the following task. Turn the wastelands into flourishing gardens. Create a thriving animal ecosystem. And protect us from whatever befell the previous gardener. Now, there was something else. Something important. We'll send you a letter once we remember. Is it wishlisting the game? On Steam? Check the description to find out how you can find it. Okay, so we got some lore going on. I'm gonna need y'all to, uh, need you to build stuff faster. Oh yeah, here's the upgrades. Um, this is an upgrade available. Uh, land expansion, 15% cheaper. I will create inverting ecosystem, coal ascending field, and reduce the base cost of traveling, or uh, expanding your garden and travel, really. Requirements too. I need two animals to do it. I need more gold, available energy. It shows used in total energy. You can afford things with this icon. What's this? Reuse your reclaim if I shot, and then uh, treasure hunt and boost treasure by 3%. That's pretty cool. Awesome. All right, so that's um those things. Hold on. Oh, it's just excellent. Hum hum tum tum just got a bit cozier. Can you feel the increase in magic? The upgrades you make are permanent. You shouldn't make your creatures, but should your creatures leave, you should must replace them before making new ones. My selection is also not as good as it once was. Maybe you can find some new upgrades for me using your journey. Good luck breathing life into hum hum tum tum. Remember the upgrades, Faunus. Okay. And then in here we have, you know, uh, more achievements and stuff to do. Like, stuff to track. Oh, I'm so sorry, Bumbutt. Bumbutt, please don't leave me, Bumbutt. I know it's raining, but I can only do so much because it's taking forever. Oh, no. One of your creatures is currently unhappy, Waddles. Make sure to check in on it to see what it needs. Maybe some extra pets. Oh, I can pet it. Remember, it's not happy for too long. It will eventually leave hum hum tum tum. All right. Making things uh, for the teacher unhappy, such as a poor habitat, being able to give home and friends leaving the garden pick up creatures to tell you what currently is unhappy if it's unhappy it's truly miserable It'll pamper with them with love okay i need to go bam i need shelter how do you how do i give you shelter though hold on um i wish it would uh put things down faster i gotta put flowers down uh i can't give you shelter i'm so sorry little bumble bum butt Oh, let's see. What's this? Uh, variety, adaption, decay, habitats, keepers. Ah. Ah. It's like in, uh, what's it gonna call it? Like in the SimCity games when you need to see just the electrical, uh, populace and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. I like that. That helps you, uh, find things a lot faster. And then thickets are new. That's how I have shrubs. Okay. I'm not doing anything until I can get this little guy some, uh, what you wanna call it? Uh, flowers. That's what I need to do. I'm still waiting on that. Here we go. Let's fast forward through the night. There we go. Uh, Thunderstone. Let's read this. Um, hello. Your daily expenses are straining our magical stability. We're starting to feel unwell. So please fix the situation by increasing your gold before tomorrow. Otherwise, we'll have to recycle parts from Hum Hum Tum Tum. Thank you. Crap. I know. I know. I'm doing terrible. Oh, no. Bumblebee. It left. Careful now, one of your creatures left. The garden is likely that you accidentally modified its habitat, making it unhappy. When our inhabitants get uh, too unhappy, they leave. Once that happens, attracting new animals will temporarily take longer. Oh, well, anyway, don't get discouraged. You have lots of success ahead of you. I'm sorry, Bumblebutt! Uh, <laughs> I need to... I can't. I'm negative money. Oh, no. Um. Crap. What do I do? Can I sell the land? There, I sold the land. Crap. I know you gave me that land to uh, do things, but like, yeah. This rain is really harsh in my vibes. Like, I'm out of money again. <laughs> and do nothing. I'm just gonna release that too. We don't need it right now. We don't need all that land. Here, we're gonna go. There, I made a pond. Happy? I'm trying to fix my mistakes. I'm sorry. 
Uh, let's do this. We need to go. There. Danger, danger. It is happening again, Waddles. Hum, 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 hum is decaying unnaturally fast, withering away just like it did after Nightshade's disappearance. Calm down, don't panic. I'm panicking. This is precisely why we're preparing magically infused gardening gloves. They are not ready for full operation, but we have no choice. Dry them out with the restoration spell and restore your decaying items. What do you mean? Magic. Magic is your main gardening tightening tool with the spells of various situations. Hold the interaction button to charge the spell. Release to cast the spell, providing you enough nectar. Upgrade gloves will let you charge higher levels for grinding a bashwa. All right, so... Oh, I see what you mean. Okay, uh, magic. We need to go. There. Ah, so you have to keep an eye on it because you're going to start losing your stuff if you don't maintain it properly. Got it. Okay, I understand. Ooh, fortunately, we kept our heads cool and addressed the situation calmly. Seeing decay after only four days before we had a chance to teach you about it. What an unlucky turn of events. It almost feels intentional. Anyhow, your garden naturally decays over time, especially with wear and tear. For now, you should manage your new gloves, but we will seek out assistance just in case. It will be great. You'll see. Council. P.S. Faunus might be able to improve your gloves. Thank you, Faunus. Um, decay. Items decay over time, hastening to the wind and other events. Um, unintended decay. Eventually goes critical, spreading to nearby items. Critical items uh, ultimately crumble, ruining its patch. Cool. So you need to pay attention. I got free spells and a bunch of other stuff. Cool. Whoopsie, did you see that, Waddles? Lightning struck it in Hum Hum Tum Tum. You are no, you are in no immediate danger, but if you are unlucky, a strike can hit one of your items and cause a lot of wear and tear. In general, lightning occurs during thunderstorms, so most of the time you do not have to worry. Keep your eyes open during stormy weather. Just a heads up. Toodaloo. Interesting. Very interesting. This game's great. It literally is just like a different version of Viva Pinata. And I'm here for it 100%. My fiance is going to love this game. Like, she's going to love this game. So, she's been uh, telling me I need to record Viva Pinata for a while now. And I was like, no, I will get to that. Is that a goldfish? Hold on. What is that? What are you? What is that? What is that? Are you a goldfish? Are you a goldfish? What are you? Why are you small? Explain yourself. Oh, well. It's raining. It needs to stop raining. Stop raining. Uh, add 20 pond water to impress Aura. I that's uh, I don't have that kind of money, yo. Hold on. I need money. Give me money. <laughs> I really need money. All right, wizard. I don't have... Hold on, can I unuse it? What does that do? Oh, it slides it. Dang it. All right. Spell finish. Ah, spells are nice. Wow. All right. Whoa. Whoa. Excuse you. Um. Well, dang. You guys are mean. All right. Hold on. We need to do water. Let's add the water for right now. Let's fast forward. Okay, cool. I got more mail. We had completely forgotten about the hor it, the Hortic Day. Every now and then, garden masters from many worlds get together to Grand Hortical event. We call it Hortic Day. It is organized by a few old keepers. Very old, in fact. We are not sure how old they are. Preferably, probably ancient. In the festivities, each garden master is ranked on the performance. This part is where you will eventually be crowned a legendary Hortical Hortical there is also a theme competition to win prizes and a medal ceremony accomplishing specific feats. The first event is coming up, and you need high garden of love to stand a chance. So make sure you have a good garden of love fountain uh, foundation before the event takes place. Garden love. Garden love is overall condition of your garden. Variety of the items on the surface, selection of different environments, happy animals, numerous species, and a total explorable area. More love means more increased income bonus and a higher Hortic Day score. Oh boy. Okay. Hi there, Waddles. You have completed the following challenge. Complete five days. Well done. Yeah, money. Oh, thank you so much. Splendid. A new steward and thus emerging business opportunity for us both. My name is Mercury and I am well-established merchant of garden wares. I forged many a deal with your predecessors, just as I now wish to do so with you. Eventually your successor. I have contracted in numerous worlds and provided you with many a thing. A suitable sum of gold, naturally. Although my web runs wide, I can only keep track of so much. So every few days, I bring in new stock for you to pursue. Too frequent, so you don't miss a deal. You never know when it will return. With your humblest regards, Mercury the Merchant. Thank you, Mercury the Merchant. I appreciate you and your weird voice. All right, cool. Um, 
Challenge received times two. What's that? <gasps> Bumblebee. Bumblebee. This is your new home. Thank you. What's that? Are you small still? Why are you still small? All right, we got a Bumblebee back in. Um, Hold on. Is this your new home? Wait, please put me back down. Where are you taking me? I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, I love the Bumblebee. Oh, okay. Hey, oh, okay. That's a good start. Maybe I'll even provide symbolic donation for the future of Hum Hum Tum Tum. But what is the pun without streaming water and juicy plants? I think I'll provide you with both streaming water and water lilies. Make good use of the models. I might just have some nifty rewards for your effort. Regards, Mora. All right. So I think I'm redeeming myself a little bit better finally. Um, I'm going to purchase this land again. So I'm low on gold. So I need to be a little careful right now. Let's see. Um, I have a plantation lily. A plantain lily? Here, water. Water lily. That's what I need. So I don't have I don't have enough gold, I think. But I did plant one. Maybe I could plant two. No, I can't. Alright, I gotta hang I gotta hang tent back. I literally told myself this was gonna be like a 15 minute video, and I'm very, very wrong. <laughs> This is so much fun. I, I'm looking forward for this coming out very soon. It comes out early in 2024. Make sure you add it to your wish list. This is um. Don't sleep on this one. This one's this is stupid addicting. Um, what do we got? Stream water. I see what you mean. Can I actually put one right now? Are you gonna be mad at me if I put it down? Hold on. Let's see. Come on. Okay. So I, I'm misunderstanding something, right? The surfaces, dude, that does not cost me money to put surfaces down, yeah? Does it not? I don't think it costs me money to put down the uh, surfaces. It's, it's the, all the other stuff that's costing me money. Yeah, no, I'm right. Interesting. Very interesting. Hold on, let's do it like this. All right, that should be that should satisfy you with your streaming water obsession. Okay, cool. Wow, now that's what I call movement. Doesn't it make you feel alive? You probably know this already, but only certain aquatic plants thrive in streaming water. Just a heads up. Anyhow, I hope you like reeds because I do. I have some for you. They'll make really good hiding place for some animals that can be planted in streaming water. Best regards, Aura. Okay, I'm understanding this a lot better. So when the full version comes out and I start making a video series on this, I will not screw up as hard this time. So we have reeds. I'm already broke. I bought one reed and I'm broke. <laughs> Who let me do this? Um, Boulder, this item is currently a selection. That's cool. Uh, this area shows more. Uh, how long until struck? Five days. Uh, refresh. You can spend money to refresh. So, okay. So they have detail. Oh, wow. All right. You're handy. Nothing interests me. That's correct. I don't have money. Yeah, well, look at all this stuff I can't do because I'm stupid. All right. Um, boy, oh, boy. Uh, let's see. What is that? I don't know. What are you eating over here, Bumblebee? You eating that flower? Keep it up. It's so sweet. I love my bumblebee. Hi, council member. There you go. Mazel tov. Interesting. All right, so it's still building all that. So, all right, so grass plots and everything do not cost you money. That I can tell. So we're gonna do it this way. We're gonna put that there and then we're gonna go. We're gonna do thickets. I wanna know what the thicket's gonna get me. Oh, some weird stuff out here. Very interesting. Oh, I cannot, I cannot do anything with the marble. It's funny. So you really can just customize this as much as you want and keep expanding it, which is really cool. Oh, hello. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Um, restore. 
Restore. Restore. Gotcha. <laughs> that would have been bad. Cool. What's this? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yuri just has an icon because you did your thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Achievements. Cool. I'm trying to get three animals settled, but I need... Hold on. There we go. I got nectar. I'm home and cozy. Fine. I won't carry you around. Let's go ahead and fast forward. Oh, crap. Cool. Got it. Danger. Danger. If you have not noticed yet, there are corrupted elves incoming. This is absolutely wild. They are not supposed to be a thing, but we can ponder this later. For now, it is important to stay calm. We have attached an upgrade for your gloves. The banishment spell. Use it to banish intruders. Be careful not to banish any friendlies. Oh my god. Corrupted occasionally visit your um, visit with their minions. Use magic and ingenuity to thwart their plans. For each wave allows for preparation. Exhaust all ways to resume your day. You can launch a wave early by clicking the corruption meter. Oh my god. Okay, let's do this. Oh boy. Council member, be careful. You're really close. I'm gonna kill him. Get out of here. Okay, I gotta get... Okay, watch out. No, stand still. Stop it. You suck. Stop moving. Come here. I'm gonna kill you. I mean, banish you. I think I got him. Okay, I think I got him. Got some nectar out of it. I don't know what the nectar does. Great news, Waddles. Yesterday, we were contacted by some of our fellow keepers. They wondered if... Now would be a good time to settle in hum hum tum tum. Truth be told, we don't think so because they wouldn't have anywhere to live. So we provided you with a home for them. Just place a cottage in the garden and the curious keeper will eventually appear. Each keeper comes with some upkeep. In return, they tend to the garden and prevent decay. Try attracting a new keeper to hum hum tum tum. Oh, awesome. And what's this one? Ha, cooler heads prevailed yet again. We were heatedly debating the greatest marmalade when these visitors caught our attention. It would seem that they corrupted keepers on friendly gnomes that only the oldest of tomes mentioned. Instead of tending to nature like us, they aim to destroy it. We honestly thought them a mere fairy tale, so with them revelation, it's obvious the question is why they came here today is somehow linked to the aggressive decay. We'll start doing some research in the meantime. Keep your eyes open. Spell banish, scanner, and then befriend. Wait, I can befriend them? Amazing. All right, what's new? Um, Keeper's Cottage, that is very expensive. I don't have that kind of money right now. Let's fast forward to the night. Oh, hold on a second. I got some, uh, I got some decay right here. Boom, bada boom, it's, uh, it's all good now. Don't worry about it, eh? Okay, you can stop decaying right now. You don't decay my rocks, please, thank you. Okay, those are still going. This game's great. I'm having a great time. So I need to hang out and, uh, yeah, let me, uh, cut ahead really quick. Okay. I have enough money now to, um, let's go ahead and where is it? Is this one, right? A keeper's cottage. Let's put him right here. I'm broke again. Let's fast forward. Oh no. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Got to bring these all back. Stop it. And now it's raining. I hope my bee's happy. Where's my bee? There you are. You happy, little guy? Yeah, you happy. Caw, 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 caw. The, a new gardener, huh? Are you a nectar aficionado like me? Judging from your collection, not so much. My name is Corbett, but I am both a collector of connoisseur of items and nectar. Not only that, but I have been known to trade nectar for items, sometimes even gold. You know what? If you would collect some nectar of any kind, I'll open up my services to you, and I'll show you that it won't you regret it. Good luck, caw, Corbett. Nectar is resources resource you collect via interaction. Moon nectar drops from the fully adapted flowers at moonlight at nights. Creature nectar occasionally drops from animals, and especially the happy ones. Corrupted nectar is carried by unsavory elements. As a nectar item settles to the spot, it becomes adapted. Adaption increases its item value, affecting daily income and reclaimed gold. Moving an item loses some of its adaptation, especially when over longer distances. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Um. Hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. Excuse you. You can't correct the cor 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 corrupt these lily pads. You ain't real, idiot. All right. Um, 
I have nectar. Where are you, Mr. Nectar Man? No, you're you're Faunus. No, you're Mercury. Huh. Well, I gotta get more nectar anyway. It don't matter. At least we know that's a thing right now. Oh, hello. What's that mean? Come here. This is your new home. So let's see. Um, hurrah, more keepers mean more company for us and more assistance for you. This is a big step for us, Waddles. When we summon you, we didn't dare dream about the day that our numbers would be increasing. With more keepers comes a better ability to tend to the garden and harness its magic. We keepers are also known as elves or gnomes and inhabit, inhabit most fertile worlds. In fact, we have relatives back in yours, but they seem primarily to keep hate to themselves, but keep helping hands now become forgotten. Significant step. Well done. Keepers help maintain a healthy garden. They restore decay, collect valuables. Once upgraded, they can heal animals and banish nefar nefarious entities. And in, in addition to needing a home, keepers come with an upkeep cost. All right, cool. So that's another little a thing that's in here, huh? Um, oh, hello. Where'd you go? All right, I clicked on the rat and he went, I gotta go. <laughs> I guess I have to, um, Get its attention. Need waddles, you've got a guest visiting Hum Hum, Tum Tum. It probably doesn't want to settle since it has no habitat, but if you can find it, it may give you some habitat knowledge. Regards, console. Okay, cool. Guests will show up occasionally. You can settle them without bringing unknown habitat knowledge. Interact with the guests to collect their knowledge. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Okay. So, up. Oh, thank you. Look at him. He's up keeping stuff for me. Amazing, amazing, amazing. All right, this game, definitely going to end up being my jam on full release. Absolutely. It. Oh absolutely loving this but i've got this video going on for quite a while for it being a demo i'm gonna do this a lot more on my own check out the description so you can play the demo for yourself put the game on your wish list please help support this developer this is going to be something very fun it's coming out very soon i will have content on it um when releases around the corner so i'm dedicating to doing this one this one's a lot of fun so we got something special on our hands with this one. And it's been a while since I've had something give me like an addiction like Viva Pinata did. And this one's giving me that vibes of the micromanagement fun and acquiring absolute little joys of little known people. So, but anyway, I appreciate you guys for watching this video. Like I said, please help support the dev, follow them on uh, Twitter or X, whatever we were calling it at this point. And of course, make sure you put this on your wish list on Steam and uh, look forward to this release in the near future. And thank you guys for watching. And this is going to be a great fun. So, bye.